V Squad, welcome back to another episode of V Girl TV. This your girl V, Shayna V, and I am so thrilled to be here today. If you guys watch one of my other videos from before, you notice that I am very passionate about my culture as a Panamanian American, and I've done videos about reggaeton, I've done videos about reggaeton espanol, and I've also done videos with Renato, who is one of the pioneers of the whole reggae and Spanish movement, and today I'm actually honored to be here. I am at the first ever Museo de Reggae en Español in the world, not only here in Panama, and I'm super thrilled to be here with the director of this whole entire event. It's actually amazing, guys. It's so it's beautiful. So if you guys are going to come to Panama, make sure you come here. But let's talk to the director, his name is Cannabis, and he is the director of the museum, um, El Museo de Reggae en Español, and he's gonna give us a little bit of background of this art, this piece of art, because that's exactly what it is. So, Cannabis, tell us about yourself. Okay, um, my name is Roberto Rodriguez, right? I'm a reggae music producer, um, artist, right? And I love a lot reggae music, right? Mm -hmm. Since I was a local youth, uh, uh, little boy, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? So um, this idea, the, or, the origin of, of this idea is from Raul Alvarez, which is the president, and his right hand, the general manager, uh, Gijo, right? They um, create, or they have the idea to create this museum like two or three years ago, mm -hmm. right? And the reason why it's taking like two or three years to develop this idea is because we was waiting for support, right? Uh -huh. Remember that this kind of projects need a lot of support right. to keep it alive, right? Mm -hmm. And also, um, also we need support from artists and producers uh, to believe in the project. Right, uh, the museum. The museum is nothing if artists and producers and the people who participate in the reggae music production don't believe in you. Mm -hmm. Right, so we built uh, that trust in us uh, during these years, and finally we opened the Reggae en Español Museum. Right. Mm -hmm. So, what was the inspiration behind this museum? Well, basically, basically, it's because. Uh, Panama is the origin of all the music, uh, believe it or not, popular music today. Because the popular music today, seven of ten songs has reggaeton basses, mm -hmm. reggaeton bass, rhythm mm -hmm. in the background, mm -hmm. right? So that reggaeton rhythm, the influence is from Panama. Even if Jamaica, uh, the, the, the producers in Jamaica create the dembow rhythm, Right, uh, Stilly and Cleavy and some other producers create some uh, readings uh, that Panama, Puerto Rico, Colombia use for reggaeton. They get inspiration from Panama, mm -hmm. right, to use it. Uh, people like Nando Boom, people like El General, Renato, right. They use uh, to believe in our artists, right, and then they uh, start to imitate those, uh, I mean, the Panamanian artists mm -hmm. and some other Latin American artists like Shaba Khan from Honduras, right? Uh, but m most likely the Panamanian artists, right? Mm -hmm. So, but now uh, the reggaeton movement is like uh, trying to, uh, to claim, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what is from Panama, right? It's trying to claim the right that we have as a originators, mm -hmm. right? I mean, everybody knows that the reggae music comes from Jamaica, mm -hmm. but the Spanish reggae is from Panama. Mm -hmm. Actually, let me uh, go a little bit deeper. It's from Cologne City, right? C3. <laughs> I'm C3 too. <laughs> yes, I'm C3 too, believe it or not, <laughs> right? So, Starting Cologne City with uh, Super Nandi, Rasta Nini, they had a, uh, we have it here, a long play, right, a record, 
with five tunes, five songs in Spanish, mm -hmm. right? So that is the, the, the first, uh, those are the fir first songs in Spanish crea created in the world, right? From Colon City. And then after that, uh, one of the pioneers and most popular uh, DJs, when I mean DJs, I mean um, uh, singer, mm -hmm. right? Reggae music uh, the singer Renato, mm -hmm. right? Because remember that DJ in Jamaica is somebody that yes, yes, <laughs> yes. it's different that yes. than than Selecta, right? Okay, one of the first uh, artists Renato, right? And then Shisho Man and Nando Boom, right? So uh, the reggaeton movement uh, is trying to claim that uh -huh. like they created, but it's originally from Panama, from Colon City. So do you feel that? Because of that, this is now the time for us to showcase who we are as Panamanians, who we are as a culture. Because you have other people trying to claim music that that they didn't originate, that they did not originate. To be honest with you, supposed to be a long time ago, uh -huh. right? Supposed to be from the '80s that we deserve that respect, mm -hmm. right? We deserve a museum. We deserve. Um, all this magnif magnific uh, structure and project that we are developing right now. But unfortunately, uh, a few years ago, this was an underground movement. Mm. So obviously, if it's an underground movement, normally you don't have support from the government, from, um, uh, from, from the companies, mm -hmm. private companies, things like that, right? So it's supposed to be a long time ago, to be honest with you. This is not the moment, but we are doing that right now, and that is very important. Now, the museum is actually located in Casco Viejo. So for those of you who do not know where Casco Viejo is, Casco Viejo is very touristical. A lot of tourists come here. Is that the reason why you chose this area, or was there some, a story behind why you chose Casco Viejo? Okay, basically it's that, right? It's because it's a historical place, it's very it's centric, everybody, all the tourists normally come here to the Casco Viejo. So that is the reason why uh, we choose that place, this place, right, uh, to create the Reggae and Espanol Museum, right? Because it's easy for the tourists and the Panamanian people to come here, right? Everybody, almost everybody comes to Casco Viejo to do something, anything, to walk, to go to a restaurant, to go to a nightclub, to do everything or nothing. Everybody comes to Casco Viejo. So I guess that this is a good, good place for people uh, interested in the reggae music uh, to know uh, the reggae music museum. Now, I know that you said that the reason why um, we couldn't, you couldn't open up sooner was because you needed support, right? Mm -hmm. How easy was it, or have you gotten support from the brethren from Jamaica and other Caribbean countries? To be honest with you, we are in meetings, right, with uh, people, um, some uh, very important people in Jamaica, right, to get more or to get more support um, and items for the museum, right to create studios, uh, like recording studios, mm -hmm. right, to show some of the history uh, of the uh, dancehall, because the reggae music is, is, is the, the reggae espanol, right, is based on dancehall. Mm -hmm. uh, like 80% dancehall, like 20% reggae roots, mm -hmm. right? The reggae, the reggae espanol is basically dancehall, mm -hmm. right? So we, uh, we had some meetings already with some people. We are, uh, the only thing is that people from Jamaica told me that that takes a couple of months, mm -hmm. right, to get that support. And mm -hmm. um, it's not only about money, but about items for the people to see right. here, right? Mm -hmm. like, like clothes, like e e equipment, devices, everything, right, to fit this museum. Okay, so I'm looking around, and I don't know if you guys can see in the background, we have a mural of Danger Man, Papa Shang. You have El Kid, who's actually uh, Renato's son. Uh -huh. um, how did you choose the artists that were going to be represented in this museum? That is a good question. I like it. Uh, but we are not choosing the artists. Okay. We, we are trying to, to show to the, uh, to the world all the artists 
mm-hmm. as possible. The only thing is that we need to start with something. Okay. Right? We cannot start with all the artists because we mentioned before the support. Mm-hmm. We need more space. We need uh, more things to do in the museum to add more artists. Mm-hmm. Right? And actually, we also need that the artists come to us and give us the material. Okay. Right? We cannot choose the artist's uh, CD or the artist's uh, custom mm-hmm. if the artists don't give us that. Uh-huh. <laughs> right? So, uh, we, um, the, the main, uh, how much meta? Goal. The main goal, right, is uh, to have most artists as we can. The only thing is that we need to start with something, something. and we try to start with the pioneers, right? With the first artist that uh, shows to the world the reggae music, Green Woman, Renato, Supanandi, Shisho Man, right? And um, we also need, uh, we also um, have to show those that they are not with us right now, like Dienja, Papa Shan, <laughs> El Kid, and uh, there's uh, more artists like Original Dan, all those artists uh, uh, will have space here in the museum, right? But we are doing that step by step. So basically, we are not choosing artists. Like, you will be in the museum and you are not. Okay. No, it's not like that. We are trying to add uh, all the artists and producers. That is very important, right? Producer as possible. Okay, so what are some of the artists, or who are some of the artists that you're showcasing right now? Okay, right now we have uh, original costumes from the Man. Um, El Kid, Papa Shan, Nando Boom, Renato, Apache Nes, Root Girl, La Trevida, mm-hmm. she came here to Panama, Reggae Sam, I don't know if I mentioned Shishman already, um, Carmencita Anderson uh, is one of the first ladies uh, singing reggae music. And now yes. she's singing soca music. I downloaded, music. I downloaded one of her songs from um, on iTunes, as a matter of fact. Yeah, if you want, you can give me another interview because for me, I'm, I'm, I'm really sure that soca music inspired dancehall oh, at certain yeah. point. So that is something that we need to talk on the future. <laughs> I love soca music. But guys, I really want you guys, whenever you come to Panama, please visit the Museo de Reggae en Español, the Museum of Reggae in Spanish. When I tell you guys, I'm actually going to take you guys around so we could tour the event, tour the space a little bit. There's also a restaurant that is upstairs serving authentic Caribbean, Panamanian Caribbean um, inspired dishes. So you definitely want to come through and, and, and check that out. But I want to thank you for taking the time out. I know today is going to be really hectic and you took time out to just talk to my viewers a little bit. Um, and tell us about the prices, how much they, do they, how much is it to come in and all that good stuff so that people are aware of what they're getting into when they get here. Okay, that will depend, right? Because um, that's depending if you come in groups, okay, right? And or if you come as an individual, if you come with your school, with your university, uh-huh. right? Or with a tourist package, we are uh, we will have all that information after the the opening tomorrow, right? On all the social medias, okay. right, of the museum, Instagram Museo del Reggae Español, um, uh, TikTok Museo del Reggae Español. All that, all that information will be there, and all. Also under the um, QR code. Okay. Yes, that information will be there because the price uh, could change a little bit depending on the package. And is there a website? I know you said that the Instagram is El Museo de Reggae en Español. Is the website the same? No, we are working on the website, okay. right? Because right now uh, people use more social media. Yeah. Right. Uh, whenever you talk to somebody, somebody always they ask you what and what is the Instagram. Yeah. Nobody asks you what is the website. So we are working on the website because we need to add a lot of information on the website. Actually, the mannequins, right, um, and the museum, they um, will have like a, a, a barcode or a QR code, so you can scan it. You can go ahead and scan it, and that will take you to the website with all the information from that artist, right? So. That is a step by step. Poco a poco, mm-hmm. right? All right. So, are you gonna take us around to see the? Let's take Definitely. us around to see what um, everybody needs to see. So, let's go, guys. The restaurant. <laughs> The museum is located in Casco Viejo, right next to La Cuadra Market. I've done videos before on La Cuadra Market, but if you put in La Cuadra Market in ways, it should show up.
it's still in the process, so trust and believe as time goes on, it's gonna get better. So after the camera stopped rolling, Cannabis says something that I really did not agree with, but this is B-Girl TV. We want to give people a chance to speak their truth without judgment. So here we are. But you have a face that you don't let me speak. You're being honest so that you know. But you have to speak in English. Ah, you want to take it out.